you know, since you were around the state of Kentucky so much, Danny, um, going to all these hollers, seeing these good players, I have been an advocate for Kentucky basketball for a long, long time because I've gotten out of the state. I've coached in different parts of the country. And, um, you know, when I got in this business, the first eight kids I sent to postgrad year, most of them for, were from Kentucky, and seven of those guys went D1. So there's a lot of talent in the state that just doesn't get seen. But why don't you share with folks that might not know about Kentucky basketball or Kentucky high school basketball, what makes it so special? Well, you know, I, I've been in Florida for 20 years, and and I told when I got down here, you know, Billy Donovan changed the way Florida basketball was. He started putting clinics on and things, and a lot of folks just come down here and and, and want to coach, or they did back when. And, and I told him, you know, when, when I was in Kentucky, I don't care who you were playing. I don't care if it was Redbird in Corbin, Kentucky, or Bergen in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. I'm, I'm just going small market. We had to have a scouting report on every opponent we played. You could never take anyone lightly because, first of all, you're going to get out coached in Kentucky. These guys prepare. Uh, they dress properly. They're, they're great game management. Uh, you know, Kentucky basketball's always been able to, you know, you go to a clinic, whether it was, whether it was Adolph Rupps back in my day or Joe B. Halls or Eddie Subs, it doesn't matter you were always going to learn and there was going to be sold out six, 700 coaches, you know, not only did I, that I go, I would bring eight coaches with me to clinics. And that's all we did was clinics, you know? And I said, I don't care if we come out of here with one thing, you know, but it, you know, maybe, you know, the way I always saw clinics was that, you know, it, it's it, to see if what we're doing is, is kind of what's out there. So that's what made Kentucky so special. The, uh, the fundamentals was just unbelievable. And they still are. We, I run a tournament down here in Florida, uh, in the Orlando area. And I always have two or three Kentucky teams and on Patriots, I will coach that five foot 11 center. I said, doesn't matter. You better be ready. Cause they're going to take you to the wire and they're going to out coach and outsmart you. And, um, I never, you know, I could go through, you know, there are a few coaches in Kentucky that I just thought was on a pedestal. Uh, but, but they're all good. Very good. Yeah. When I coached the Gonzaga, uh, the coach there said, Hey, you got a Kentucky team you want to bring in? I said, yeah, we'll bring in Mike Mendenhall and Lafayette. <laughs> and they were the playing game for Gonzaga's own, you know, marquee tournament and Lafayette beat them. And that the, my coach was pissed at me for six months. I said, I warned you, I warned you that this was going to happen. And it, it was beautiful seeing, was it was contradictory, but beautiful seeing my own team, old teammate, a Lexington team, just put it to a team with eight D1 guys on their home court in their home tournament. And uh, I just kind of said, I, I told you guys, 